So the special house which I am going to talk about today is Twinkle Khanna and Akshay Kumar's lovely Duplay home which is on the seaside in Juhu in Mumbai. The home is where the heart is or if I say it the other way around, the heart is where the home belongs. So the house or the home is the reflection of the persona and the lifestyle of the person who's living there. It is a part of the family and their lifestyle entirely. Whether they like entertaining a lot or whether they are artists at heart or they are an introvert or an extrovert person. So the house reflects all these qualities of an individual. Uh, since Twinkle Khanna herself is a hugely creative and colorful personality, the house has multiple hues and nature is a part of the entire house everywhere. So the elements like a living pond in the house or the terrace or lawns, the front park which faces the sea, everything is so excellently done up which gives you food for thought, which, give, which enhances your creativity. There is a piece of history also behind this house. This house originally belonged to Sumati Murarji who was close to Mahatma Gandhi and Mahatma Gandhi sometimes occasionally used to come to this house and meditate on a huge stone kind of an area on in the open lawns and uh, Twinkle Khanna has maintained that stone in fact enhanced it with some artifacts and all and it is still a part of the house which is really great the ground floor houses the expansive the large living room there is a home theater there where the family entertains itself uh, there is a kitchen dining room and there is a walk-in closet the entire living area the bedrooms and all they are on the first floor and there is a home uh, there is a home office which twinkle uses a lot over there as well as there is a pantry and a large huge balcony so the balcony is uh, twinkle's favorite part um, lots of green plants lots of outdoor furniture is there and you can see the large expanse of the sea uh, which really gives you a lot of creative instincts and it is a beauty to watch especially the sunsets in the arabian sea the house belongs to yes the couple their two children and their two dogs a german shepherd and a beagle who are also a part of the family so you find the house to be very dog friendly and very family friendly the the garden is the best part best area which has a, a tiny fountain there is an el fresco sitting there where the family can enjoy the breakfast and the dinners just overlooking the Arabian Sea. There's a water body and uh, there are lots of swaying trees and plants. Uh, Twinkle loves to decorate this area uh, during some festivities or family get-togethers. Uh, it looks very beautiful in the uh, sunrise time or the sunsets are very nice. In the house, Nature has been woven into the every warp and weft of the fabric of the home. So the living area has a living pool, a water pool inside and the uh, lots of artifacts are there since the um, family is art lover. They, they have lots of uh, art collectibles. They have some family souvenirs hung on to the walls as well as family photographs so that you get a very lived in kind of a feel there is a row of pendant lights which add a little glamour to the area 
uh, as well as the couches and the center table are done in metal to add a touch of glamour and glitz even though it is not um, overshadowing the nature part or the simplicity part it just enhances the natural feel of the entire area the artifacts used are also primarily of wood or metal or stone which gels well with the earthy feel of the entire house no blasting colors or over the top uh, finishes or metals like golds and all they they've not been used so the house is entirely subtle and the entire has an earthy feel to it the bedroom has been done in a very minimal fashion and the neutral colors have been used again the highlighter is the nature since the windows are done from floor to ceiling and that brings the nature entirely into the bedroom so uh, here the nature is the hero and uh, i i really love the nature myself being a creative person and i would love i would love 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 to have a house just like uh, twinkle this is this is one of my favorite houses by the seaside and bringing the nature into nothing could be nothing nothing could have been better than bringing the nature into the home and making that the hero of the house and doing the entire decor just around it adding a little bit of your personal character as well books are the life for twinkle as well as the entire family so books are tucked away in every corner a very creative uh, use has been given to the under staircase area where loads and loads of books have been loaded up she's an avid writer as well as, as a reader so yes books are a part of her life in the on the first floor there is another tucked up area where there again lots of books can be stored just near the hanging day bed where the family can spend an, a very lazy evening they can uh, they can play some games or just lie down and uh, read the books and all so that is again another unique factor over there this is close to uh, the workplace the twinkles were writing place where she loves writing the articles and all um Uh, even though the house is done in very simple colors the basic structure is very simple but the gla uh, the glamour the glitz the color has been added by the art the art figures the wallpaper the china the artifacts they have some unique prints which add character to the entire house there is a skeleton kind of a face or even the wallpaper which has skeletons on it the face of skeletons on it they are very unique and very spectacular a nature has a soothing a calming effect on you and it enhances your creativity and your meditative state a lot so in case you your the space allows you can always have a bigger house fortunately like twinkle khanna but otherwise if if the uh, don't get discouraged if the house is small or you have you have a flat or a floor you can simply bring nature into the balcony into your rooms with some pots and all some floating pot trees where you can put some candles or some floating planters into it uh small waterfalls you see far see nowadays uh, you can have a, a small water body in a corner of the lobby so nature can nature has its own uh, charisma has its own glow and glamour so uh, it's it's really fortunate if you can add that to your home i hope you liked the video you can like and subscribe it and you can wait for more videos we would be adding more videos of different other celebrities as well uh, i am seema kosla from ideas kitchens and interiors thank you